how to make digital products for Etsy. This is a niche that has almost no startup costs, can make you hundreds of sales a month, and once set up, takes an absolute minimal amount of your time to continue running. Some say it's quite literally the definition of passive income. And best of all, you don't need to be a graphic expert to make digital products that actually make sales online. What's up guys, Alfie here. So in my personal journey of growing my Etsy shop to over 5,000 sales in two years and launching some of my own digital products, I've come to know what works in regards to product creation and making sales on the Etsy platform. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what digital products are, and then I'll show you exactly how to make your own digital products that actually stand out from the competition and give you a fighting chance of making sales on Etsy. So let's first start with a breakdown of what exactly digital products are. So digital products on Etsy are essentially just items that buyers can purchase and download instantly. So it's great because they don't require any shipping at all because you're dealing with no physical items, which makes them quite appealing to both buyers and sellers. So there's normally two different categories of digital items that I see a lot of people selling on Etsy. So first is printable items. However, not to be confused with print on demand items. So these printable items are essentially just products that you sell to customers for the customers to then print out at home. So some popular examples of these can be anything like printable planners, art, stickers, and even occasion cards for like birthdays or weddings, for example. And then you have the second category of digital products that I see people selling on Etsy. These are the items that are purely for digital use. So for example, this would be stuff like eBooks, website templates, email design templates, digital patterns for stuff like crochet. And I've even seen some people selling very bespoke, unique fonts on Etsy as well. And of course, there's plenty more digital items for both of these categories. But again, these are just the common ones that I see a lot of people selling with pretty good success on Etsy. All right, so that's a pretty basic understanding of what digital items are. So now I wanna get into the main meat and bones of this video. And this is gonna to be to show you how to actually make these digital items and specifically make them so that they stand out from what's already existing on the market to actually give yourself a chance of really making sales. Okay, so the first step would be to actually decide on a program that you wanna use that you're familiar with to actually create your digital products. So honestly, there's plenty of different options online, but here are just a few that I recommend for different jobs. So for graphics, you can use Adobe Illustrator, which is paid, or GIMP, which is free. And then for photo editing, you've got programs like Photoshop, which is gonna be paid, and then again, I recommend GIMP, which is free. Of course, for printables and e-documents, you have Word, which is paid. And then my all-time favorite program, which is Canva, which is free. And then for digital patterns, I think you'll have programs which are gonna be a bit more bespoke to your particular craft. But a few I'd recommend would be CAD, computer-aided design, which is gonna be paid. Again, I'd also like to recommend Canva here, which is free. So I'm gonna walk through a few examples now of creating some digital products for you. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using Canva because it's free. It's the program that I've personally got the most experience with. And also my digital design skills are very basic at best. And for me, Canva is just absolutely perfect for me. It's easy to use and it's just a program that I get along with pretty well. So bear in mind now, for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna to worry too much about specific niches or very specific subcategory products to get into. I purely just wanna show you how to make digital items, okay? So now let's see exactly how you would make digital items using my favorite program, Canva. Okay, so let's say for example, you wanted to make a really simple digital wedding day planner. So you just wanna head over to Canva and literally just type in the search box, wedding day planner. So this is literally just gonna open you up a brand new document where you're gonna have literally hundreds of templates to choose from for your specific niche that you typed in. So I always start off with just having a real quick look at what some of the templates are looking like for the niche that I've chosen. And then just when you see kind of the templates that are actually available to use, I recommend then heading over to Etsy and actually seeing what some of the products are looking like that you're competing against. And also by looking at the competition and what products already exist, you're gonna get a lot of inspiration that you can then take into your own designs. Because remember, not only do you wanna make products that are just gonna compete on Etsy, 
you actually want to make products that are going to beat the competition. So again, for this example, I'm just simply going to type in wedding day planners on Etsy. And you'll see now there's just so many different designs available. So you just want to do a real quick scroll through some of these Etsy results just to initially look at what stands out to you and what some of the best selling digital items in the niche that you've chosen are doing well. Then you just want to select a minimalist design that looks really good, that stands out, is on the first page but it also gives you a little bit of leeway that you can maybe add some value to the given design. So yeah, then you just wanna go into the listing and what I recommend to personally do is just start writing out a list of any areas that you can improve the design. So what's missing from the design and areas that you can make the design better and add more value. So for this specific example that I brought up on screen, you can see that there was nowhere where it mentions how many pages you get in the design, unlike some of the other best-selling designs that we looked at. So instantly I'm thinking this is one area that is very small, but it's one area that we can improve on this listing. And then secondly, I personally think maybe the text at the top of these pages is a little hard to understand. So I think maybe we can kind of use a similar sort of template but just really neaten it up a bit so more people can actually read it. So then once you've got an idea of how to improve this basic listing, you just want to head back over to Canva or whatever editing program you're using. And then you just want to start building up your own product on Canva by adding in different elements of the templates that Canva already give you and just putting them into your own design. And then once you've got some basic elements into your design, this is gonna be the really clever bit. So you see we've got some really cool pages, but none of them match up and there's no real running theme throughout the pages. So this is just where you wanna do the best thing in the world for us digital creators. And you just wanna copy style and then paste style. And then by doing this, you can literally just take the theme from one page that, that you prefer the most, and you can literally just paste that theme into every other page that you've added. So now all of a sudden you've got a running document where you've got the same theme running through every single page. And then once you have the basis for the digital product that you're really happy with, you can really start then innovating and adding value to the product. So then once the document is completely done and you're personally happy, I recommend to then build up your instructions page. So to tell any potential customers exactly how buying and selling digital items work. And you wanna do this in the same document that you've just created so that it's easy for you to use the same style that already exists. So this is an example of a digital item from Etsy that I personally bought just to show you guys exactly how it works. So you see the digital item itself that you get given is literally just a very simple link that you then click on, which actually takes you to the digital item that you've bought. So to make this, you literally just take a page from your document and duplicate it and then start to just edit it with your instructions. And this is really simply done by just editing the existing parts and then adding in any new parts that you think are gonna add value to the customer. And then you just wanna turn that single instruction page into a brand new document on Canva. So this is important. You want your instruction page and then your actual digital product in two separate documents. So the simplest way of doing this, in my opinion, is to just go back to the Canva main menu, duplicate the whole document that you've just created, and then you just wanna remove the single instruction page from the first document. So I'll call this from your main document. And then you go into your copied document and you literally remove everything else, but just leave the instructions page. So essentially now what you've got is two separate documents on Canva with the exact same theme running through them, and on one, you've got the instructions page and on the other, you've got the actual digital product. And then once you have your design complete, if it's a document such as an ebook or a specifically printable item, you normally want to just export this directly as a PDF. But if it's a document like the wedding planner that we've just created, where people need to go into the document and edit it themselves, then you'll want to go up and hit the share option and then go down to hit more and then save the document as a brand template so this is really important brand template and then you'll get this little link that pops up to the template and you just want to copy that link and then once you've got that link copied to the actual template you just want to go back out to the canva main menu and go into your instructions page and then once you're in your instructions document you literally simply just want to paste in the link to the actual product document that you're trying to sell. So this is just what the customer is gonna click on to be able to actually 
get to access the template online. So now all that's left to do is so simple is literally just export your instructions document as a PDF and you just want to then upload that to Etsy as your digital product. And so to add a digital listing to Etsy is really simple. You just want to hit create new listing and just make sure that you select the digital item. So for me personally, I was always used to adding physical items, but yeah, make sure that you hit digital item. So yeah, then you just want to fill out all of the general Etsy listing information that's required and then essentially just upload your instructions document to the digital item upload section. So again, this is the product that you're selling. And then I recommend to just hit download and basically just test it out as if you were a customer buying your own product. So you want to make sure that the link in the document actually works first of all. And then when you click on it, with any luck, you should be directed straight to your newly created brand template on Canva. All right, and there you have it. So I really wanted to keep this guide just as simple, as basic, and as beginner friendly as possible. And if digital products are something that really interests you guys, then let me know in the comments because I quite like digital products myself. It's something I've always been really interested in. Like I said at the start, I think it's one of the best products that you can possibly sell online. I'm a sucker for passive income myself. And I think once you've put a little bit of groundwork in to make the digital products, once they're listed, I think it's pretty much as close as you're gonna get to online passive income. So yeah, just let me know. If you want a real thorough guide, so a real in-depth, I'm thinking maybe like an hour long tutorial on covering everything you need to know about digital items, then yeah hit some comments, let me know. And I really hope that you found some value in this video. And of course, if you have, and you think I talk a little bit of sense, then don't be scared to hit the subscribe button for my YouTube channel. Said so I've made all the mistakes so that you don't have to. And I literally just want to give as much value to you guys as possible. So as always, thanks so much for watching my content and I'll see you on the next one.